It's Fox Truck Corey. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to my Fox Truck conversion tour. I'm about 50% complete. Most things are in. Let me turn you around here and show you what I've done. This is a 1997 Chevy box truck, box van, cube van, whatever you want to call it. And I've converted it into a, a camper. This is the back porch. I plan on spending a lot of time sitting in my chair there. Got my uh, water themed beach wall on the side. Life is a beach. Hopefully, you gotta have a little fun in life. It's uh, just your basic materials. Some indoor outdoor carpet for grass, just some wood from Home Depot. Cut down the screen door to fit. Gotta get my flag up there. Got my bamboo wind chimes. And everybody needs a pet moose, coat rack. I've set the door up 36 inches wide because I want to be able to move things. You know, if I need to move a sofa or help a friend out or whatever, this way I can get stuff in. My living room over here is uh, complete. That part's done. These wires are for the solar panels on the roof. A lot of stuff is in here, but it's not hooked up yet. That's the next half. Got to get my electrical outlets put in. Hook up these wires for the solar panel. Space is always an issue, so I've got this little uh, little computer desk, and that's going to be you know my TV, my entertainment, my work. Just have my laptop screen. Got a little reading lamp, LED of course, 12 volt, little fan. Haven't done the inside of this wall yet, but. That'll get done soon. This is my temporary kitchen. And it was uh, mostly free. These two cabinets were free. Yard sale finds at the end of the day going to the dump because they didn't sell. My little camp stove. I'm going to use these to attach it to the countertop so it doesn't go flying while I drive. This is just uh, a hunting and fishing table picked up for 60 bucks and it's going to work just fine for now. Ultimately I'll, I'm going to build uh, a nicer kitchen, either a live wood edge countertop or uh, maybe a butcher block. Make it pretty but this is going to work just fine for now only have so much money all at once. I'm using marine foot pumps to run my water out of the five gallon jugs. Still need to screw it down but other than that it's good to go. The table came with the drain hose, so that'll go into an empty container. And I got my little fridge and generator tucked under here as well. Still need to run the wiring for it, so it's not a whole lot of use, but that'll get done soon too. This is uh, one of the cabinets. There's going to be a second one identical that's going to go right over here beside this other cabinet kind of making a wall 
and a door to block off the bathroom. It's right under here. Haven't put it together yet. Still have some odds and ends here. My ladder so I can get up to the roof, clean the shoulder panels, and folding bike. Folds up fairly small. The bathroom, sink, porta potty. This is the wiring from the living room that still needs to be hooked up. For insulation, there's the foam board, and then in behind this Luan is spray foamed. I haven't done the, the kitchen wall yet though. Still more insulation to go. This is my garage, just up above the cab. Eventually I'm gonna put the, a solid wall that's gonna go right up to the top and insulated because it's too difficult to insulate all the rounded areas back there. So I'm gonna just insulate the, the flat, simple wall. And you know, you need a shower. Well, I guess you don't need, but I want. You want to shower. I've used these motorcycle cargo nets to keep stuff from falling out when I'm driving. This is my clothes washer and spin dryer. And I'm going to have uh, an air conditioner, uh, like a house portable air conditioner in here as well. I just haven't put it in yet. 12,000 BTU AC. So when I'm in the desert, when it's hot, it won't, uh, it won't be unbearable in here. Just put the fantastic fan in the roof. It's not wired up either. None of the plumbing's finished, the electrical. It's taken me longer than I had hoped to get the work done. The cab of the truck's in pretty good shape for a 97. A lot are just tore to pieces and I wanted one that was in good shape. The mechanical of the truck itself has a new engine, new transmission, new brakes, new brake lines, all new tires, a uh, new serpentine belt and pulley. So we're getting there. I'll be posting plenty of videos on the Bucks truck build out, and my travels down south. So be sure to check out the other vids on my channel. And I'd just love it if you'd subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day.